One of my favorite parts of being a grief counselor is helping others become really good grief support people for their friends and family who are bereaved. So here is how to support a bereaved friend, part three. Okay, what we kind of want to avoid, not just kind of like really want to avoid, is being vague and putting the ball back in the bereaved's court by saying something sort of like, if you need anything, you let me know. Because you know what? They're going to say, thank you but they're never, ever, ever going to ask for help. Why? Number one, nobody wants to ask for help. And two, when you're grieving, your brain is so fried that the thought of having to call somebody and make arrangements, it's like, oh, forget it. I'll just do it myself or do without. So what we can do instead is be very specific about what we're offering. Call them up and say, hey, I'm thinking about coming by with a meal this Tuesday at 4.30. I'm just going to drop it off. Does that work for you? And do you have any dietary restrictions? See, that change now makes it so that they don't have to ask for help. Instead, they just have to decide if they want to accept your gift of a meal or service or whatever it is you're offering. So accepting a gift instead of begging for help is so much kinder to the soul. So it's a gift all on its own. Life is hard. Be gentle with yourself. Have a great day.